new Independence Resurgence. Is that what it's called now? Independence like, Day like, Resurgence. Yeah, they have like a five million name. So yeah. another new trailer came out. I know Clark is excited to talk about this one. So Clark, you start it off. Oh, okay, I sure will. Um, last time I was on Movie Talk and we were talking about this uh, and we saw, I think, the posters or something. I, I said I love Independence Day and I love Independence Day. <laughs> like this is seriously one of my favorite movies ever. Oh, if you guys watch the showdown, you know that uh, I won my round on an Independence Day question. Captain Stephen Hiller, thank you very much. Um, so so when I, we watched this trailer just now, I was just like, oh my gosh. I couldn't contain myself. And uh, I think the trailer looks great. I think, you know, look, we, um, we talk about the scope and the scale of action adventure movies all the time. You know, it's, it's not anything new to see the world in complete upheaval, but I love the effects that they had in this. I love the visuals here. And I think that it really felt like a continuation of the story and capturing the tone of the first movie, which is what I love the most about it. I think it's fun, it has humor, and it has heart, which I like. And I like that it seems like the message is we all as people need to unite. And I think that's a hopeful thing. So I'm on board, I cannot wait. Well, I really like this trailer. I can't be quite as enthusiastic <laughs> about it as you. I, I'm looking forward to it. I think the thing that I noticed was this was like all new footage. Yeah. A lot of stuff we hadn't seen before. Great spectacle. I, I, people always compare Roland Emmerich to Michael Bay. I think I have a lot more fun with Roland Emmerich's films. I think he has... It is definitely over the top and silly, but I think he has more fun with it than Michael Bay, where it's, it's much more serious. The one thing I didn't care for in this trailer, though, is the focus on the younger actors mm. with Liam Hemsworth and then the guy that's playing Will Smith's character's son and then Bill Pullman's daughter. I, I, all their lines kind of felt flat to me. They're like, oh, there's going to be some fireworks or whatever the hell he says. <laughs> but and that's like, the Will Smith line. Yeah, that's but, the line but from Will the Smith first can, one. Will Smith can deliver well, that line. All right, I'm sorry in that that trailer just it fell flat for me but everything else I, i'm on board for well else? dennis if you don't like the young people in this movie i have some bad news for you this trailer <laughs> uh, looks like all the old people are gonna die yeah like, uh, i think yeah. everybody's eating it in this movie i think judd <laughs> hirsch is gone i think bill pullman's gone jeff goldblum you may want to go ahead and, and and get your will in order i mean i don't know that a lot of these people are going to make it out of this film alive i don't know that humanity is going to survive this movie how do we beat the aliens i love that we have user technology because they mentioned that in the first trailer like mm -hmm. oh we've learned from their technology and it's like well what did you learn just to get like a better firewall than what they had in the first movie <laughs> no they have spaceships we have all this cool looking stuff and we still are not prepared for what the alien is going to be bringing to the party this time i loved everything about this trailer like clark i love independence day it is such stupid silly fun to me i can't wait to go back to the theater and see this movie so do the aliens now have like a thunderbolt port in, in their ship so they can connect your oh, MacBook absolutely Pro yeah the aliens are coming back and they're bringing apple products guys <laughs> <laughs> Look out. Sinead, what did you think of this trailer? I loved it. I think it looks absolutely fantastic, action-packed, and it's like a hot mess in a very clean way. Like, <laughs> it's very well put together, and the trailer is very well put together, but I will say there was a lot of emphasis on the younger um, actors in this, yeah. and that's obviously because they're trying to... You know, they're trying to start a new Boo. Independence Day generation. Well, because they're killing their parents. <laughs> I want to see Jeff Goldblum, Bill Pullman, and Brent Spiner. I don't well, want to see these new Brent kids. Brent Spiner ain't making it out of the movie. People are getting old, Dennis. We got to make way. So I have a question for you guys. Um, I When they first announced that they were doing this, I, I thought I heard that they said that they were going to do them back to back. Like this was going to be two movies. Um, do we know? Did that happen? Like did they shoot know. a second movie already? I can't imagine that took place. Okay. I think you got to see what the so. temperature is with this movie. And you know, Dennis, you brought up the word spectacle. I was surprised at just how big of a spectacle this is. All the destruction that's going on. Like, they take all of our stuff and lift it up with their own gravity. Then they throw it back in our face. So like, awesome. this thing is going to get messy. <laughs> but it's not anything I take seriously because no. Emmerich, I think, gets the tone. He, he, he lands the sense of humor so much better than Michael Bay does in these kind of movies. That's one of the attractions for Independence Day for me. Yeah. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.